So we've decided to build Exchange support into Snow Leopard, into the main free communication applications, Mail, iCal, Address Book. It's really, really simple to set up, thanks to auto discovery in the Exchange server. You just fill in your email address and your password, and that's it. You are set up in all free apps. So what I'd like now is to ask Craig to come back and demo us Exchange. All right. Well, let's see just how easy it is to take your Mac from home and hook it up to Exchange inside your company. So to start, I'm going to open up Mail. And you'll see I have my personal Mail accounts already set up, Mobile Me and Yahoo Mail. But now I want to connect to Exchange. So I'm going to go to Add Account. And Mail is actually already defaulted my address for my address book, for my Exchange address. I'm going to type in my Exchange password. And just like that, Mail has auto-discovered my company's Exchange servers. I click Create, and I'm integrated with Exchange. I have all my Exchange emails, just like that. I have my Exchange folders already set up. I have my Exchange to-dos and my Exchange notes immediately. But I also have access to all the Mac OS X technologies in Mail, even on my Exchange email. So Spotlight, for instance. I want to do a search for a sales presentation, instantly searching the Exchange data. And you notice there's an attachment here. It's a Microsoft Office PowerPoint. I get Quick Look to preview that live within Mail whether or not I have Microsoft Office installed. And you know, I, I have data detectors here. So they spot uh, an address, a contact, and I can put them in my address book. I can even, with one click, map a location. So all those technologies integrated in with my Exchange email. But you know, the applications also work together in just the way most natural for the Exchange workflow. So for instance, if I have a meeting invitation here, it shows up in my uh, mail inbox. And I can accept it with one click right inside of mail. Or if I want to see that invitation in iCal, I can just open it right up there and see it in context and accept it with one click in iCal. And now that I'm in iCal, you'll see that I have an integrated view of both my exchange calendars and my personal calendars. Now, this integration extends also to address book. So in Address Book, I have an integrated view of my contacts, both my Exchange contacts and my personal contacts. I can search the Exchange global address list, and I even get my Exchange contact folders. And here's a cool one. If I want to set up a meeting with people in a particular Exchange contact folder, like this product team, all I do is drag that contact folder out of Address Book into iCal, pick a time slot, and I've just scheduled a meeting. Okay, and finally, the, one of the most requested features for integration between iCal and Exchange is the ability to schedule those meetings, taking advantage of availability information for people and rooms, and Snow Leopard delivers. So if I go into this location field and type uh, building, for instance, you see it's searching the, address, or searching the global address list, it finds me the briefing room, and when I look for available meeting times, I click here, I see the conflict that exists for this invitation, but that's not a problem because I just ask iCal to find me the next available time, and it reschedules the meeting for me. Just like that. So I hope you can see that when you move your Mac from uh, home to the office, we've delivered ex uh, Exchange integration just the way a Mac user would expect. Thank you very much. Thanks, Craig. So, Exchange support requires the latest server from Microsoft, Microsoft Exchange Server 2007. And with Exchange support built in Snow Leopard, it's somewhat ironic that we have it at no extra charge, while Windows PC typically require an extra product to get Exchange support. So, that's. That's Exchange, and this is kind of a little tour of the various areas of focus in Snow Leopard.